we want to find the derivative of f of x equals four times e raised to the power of two sine of three x to the fourth. The first thing we should recognize is that the given function is a composite function, and therefore to find the derivative, we'll have to apply the chain rule. The main idea of the chain rule is to find the derivative of a composite function. We find the derivative of the outer function and then multiply by the derivative of the inner function. Many times, once we learn the chain rule, we're given derivative formulas where the chain rule is built in, as we see here below. Where u is equal to the inner function, and notice how the derivative is now given as a product, where the first factor is the derivative of the outer function, and the second factor, or u prime, is equal to the derivative of the inner function. So looking at our function, and this first derivative formula here, we should recognize that the inner function u is going to be equal to two sine of three x to the fourth. So if we let u equal two sine three x to the fourth, then we can write f of x as four e to the u, which means f prime of x is gonna be equal to four times e to the u times u prime or e to the power of two sine of three x to the fourth times u prime, which should be the derivative of two sine three x to the fourth. What's more challenging about this example is that notice two sine of three x to the fourth is also a composite function. So we have to apply the chain rule again in order to find this derivative. And looking at this function, we should recognize that three x to the fourth is going to be the inner function. And in this case, since we've already used u, let's go ahead and let this equal v. So now we have f prime of x equals four times e to the two sine three x to the fourth times the derivative of two sine v, which is gonna be equal to cosine v times v prime or two times cosine three x to the fourth, which is v, and then v prime is gonna be the derivative of three x to the fourth, which would be 12 x to the third. So here's our derivative, which required applying the chain rule twice. Let's go ahead and clean this up. We have four times two times 12 x to the third, it's going to be 96 x to the third, e to the power of two sine three x to the fourth times cosine three x to the fourth. This would be our derivative function. I hope you found this helpful.